Want to learn more about PSM topics? Be sure to check out the Creating and Maintaining Optical Transport Services using the BTI 7000 series or BTI 7800 series courses. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash course slash BTI 7000 or BTI 7800. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hi everyone, it's Greg Lehman. Uh, in this PSM video, I just want to talk about topology. Uh, we've all seen it, and you may have asked yourself, well, how does that get drawn? How does PSM know what to draw? So, excellent question. So, under the hood, there's actually a few different technologies that are being used for Rotom networks. Uh, it's part of the, uh, the, the DOL layer that's providing that information in our packet products. It uh, could be LLDP, a link discovery protocol that's running, and in some of our photom networks it may even be as uh, old school as actually doing some manual provisioning between circuit packs that allow these lines to be drawn. But in PSM I have a topology panel which is what I have displayed here. I can click on a group and here's my optical demo group and here are a bunch of links, right? And these are visualized green, green's good, green means they're alarm free. I can right click on it, show link details, and I can actually see the information about that link. This happens to be a, uh, a Rotom dynamic optical layer network, so we can see information such as span length and, and span loss, etc., etc. I can hide that. Uh, contrast the topology with, for instance, what you'd see for an Ethernet service, right? So you, you think they're the same, but they're different in the sense that this is your Ethernet topology and this is your physical link or fiber topology. So this happened to be my, again, my optical layer. This is automatically discovered by PSM when it queries the uh, dynamic optical layer network elements. The elements provide that inf information of their, their neighbor who they connect to and PSM renders that for you. I'm going to go up to my parent. I'm going to flip into another group of network elements uh, called Ethernet Demo. And this is a host of BTI equipment running more our packet solutions. And what's happening here is that these elements uh, are running protocols that talk to their neighbors and basically are able to figure out who's on what end of the fiber and then we can build that information up, right? So here we have, uh, in this case, I guess, a, a BTI 7000 product talking to one of our access uh, boxes and over here for instance we have the BTI 7000 packet VX talking to uh, another access box but this time the 810. So we can see that this information is data mined by PSM and used to render that topology. Okay, So if you're on running a system, uh, a network of FOTOM that does not have the capabilities of running LDP in terms of the packet or the dynamic optical layer, we can go and manually provision on circuit packs who their neighbor is, if you will. So what we can do through PSM is we would go to a network uh, circuit pack. So here, for instance, I'm picking a transponder module. Oh, I'm sorry. I first go to the element, and I can say open shelf view. And here's the shelf view. P please ign ignore the alarm. And I can go on a port, and I can right click, and I would say set remote port ID. So what this is trying to say is, um, again, you're doing this through PSM. PSM is going to provision this network element, or provision this information on the network element. And really what would happen is you provision this information on this network element and its neighbor, and that's stored. So that allows PSM to query this and know that these two circuit packs connect and be able to draw a link uh, among, uh, across them. So what we can do here is um, I have nothing set for the current remote ID. I, I could define what it connects to. So I can, for instance, pick a node. I would go and I would have a circuit pack that it connects to. So for instance, transponder. I would go and I can pick shelf slot port. So I would pick, for instance, shelf one, port one. 
And bidirectional, uh, it's kind of weird, but really it's meaning, hey, should I provision both ends of the link? And yes, you should, because ideally you want to be able to have that link represented both ways. So you would do that, and you'd go ahead and boom, hit OK. Um, alien in this case is uh, kind of a, a weird term. Really what it's saying is if I'm connecting to a foreign device and I don't have the capabilities of provisioning a remote ID on that device, I would uh, click the alien uh, checkbox. So this would provision it on our BTI equipment and be able to draw a link to a, an entity but not be able to provide state information on it and hence the link would not be green or red accordingly. So that is how I would go ahead and provision up a remote ID for doing a FOTOM based network. Okay. And that's it. So hopefully that takes some of the mystery out of the topology display on PSM. Thank you much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.